Hello guys and welcome. Imagine the situation, I need to find a room in a shared apartment in Munich, taking into consideration that I already live here and I know how things work. This video will be useful for people who want to come to Munich and they are considering finding accommodation in the most efficient and cheap way possible. And in this video I want to tell you about my top 5 websites when you can look for room in shared apartments in Munich. And to be fair, my first step will be to tell all my friends whom I know who live in Munich that I'm looking for the room. And while my friends are digesting and spreading this information, meanwhile I will go to internet. And first of all, what we will be looking for is called in German Wohnsgemeinschaft or WG, which actually means room in shared apartments or just shared apartments. Important disclaimer, and it's better to say it in the very beginning of this video, be aware of scam. Scam is possible on every platform here. And the first thing you should consider, don't send any money to anybody until you have enough proofs that this flat and room is real. And now let's go to our websites. I will rent them from worst to best. So first one is Imonet or Imowelt. And both of them belong to the same group. So this is the Imonet de year. Let's quickly try to find here something. München, finally. Okay, let's see. In München we need Mieten, meaning that we want to rent something. And we need a von Gemeinschaft. Okay, let's see what we have. You see, it gives us only 19 offers. I could not say that the prices is a sky high, but generally only 19, it's a very small amount. I don't think it's worth our energy. Another one is Imawelt. Let's quickly check here. So what we want, we want one Gemeinschaft also in München. Let's see what we have here. And here we have 20 offers. Okay. And by the way, it looks like it has mostly the same things here. So I don't think we need to spend our time much on this. And another one is Immobile Scout 24 or Emo Scout 24. This is actually the same thing. This is the biggest player in internet rental industry in Germany. They have biggest database, but at the same time they have the biggest competition because everybody goes to Immobile Scout. And if you buy paid subscription to this website, you will be able to see how much people applied to the flats. There are thousands of them uh, within a couple of days. By the way, as for me, paid subscription to Immobile Scout is totally useless thing. The same feedback I heard also from many of my friends. Yes, it gives you a couple of cool features, but it doesn't solve the problem of finding your flats uh, faster. If you had different experience, can you please share it in comments? Very interesting to hear. What are the pros of Immobile Scout 24? Yes, they have the biggest database of rental property in Germany. And they have well-made websites with a lot of cool features. By the way, this is very rare thing for Germany. Cons. Frankly speaking, I personally don't know anybody who found a room in shared apartment using Immobile Scout. And for me, it's a pretty important thing. Again, taking into account that this website has the biggest database of such properties. Theoretically, it should totally dominate here. But for some reason, it's not the case. Or I simply don't know right people. Another thing is the very big competition and oversaturation of people who are looking for flats there. I also think it's too hyped and overpriced. The prices are really high there. Now let's quickly see the Mobile Scout. Automatically puts München here. So we are looking Mieten, WG, Zimmer. So it offers us 400 results. Let's go into it. So the prices, this is, you see, this is cult meter. This is a cold price, meaning that you have to additionally pay for something. Let's just quickly go see what's inside here. So it's 1000 for the room. 
and uh, yeah but generally it's also 1000 they simply specify like here there is a deposit on 1600 so yeah four people are living there okay but you see the interface is pretty cool and this is actually the ad from agency let's quickly see further yeah there is not much cheap prices here let's just quickly change the order so let's choose the most cheap ones first yeah you see the prices are definitely cheaper but most of those ads are actually coming from the agency housing anywhere we will meet this agency pretty often on our websites but you see there are also some uh, ads from private persons but generally the cheapest ones are again housing anywhere okay uh, by the way this housing anywhere could be an interesting candidate for investigation because i checked this website frankly speaking it looks promising and you see it has english interface munich okay munich germany search what is it for example we look for a, a private room okay yeah uh, the prices i would say that uh, not cheap generally but yeah it could be an interesting candidate so next one is wg gesucht it's very much focused on the rooms in shared apartments it's very convenient to students i know a lot of positive stories about these websites from my friends and it means that generally the service is working so what we have here the website uh, we choose München here we need the get Simma. yeah let's see what we have so here are the prices you see it has a pretty good interface focused for the people who are looking for rooms you see uh, it immediately shows you how much people are living in the flat how much are actually occupied you see here it means that there are four people living in this flat and three people are present and they look for another one here for example you see there are two people yeah it's very convenient uh, this is you see the the district of munich for example you see those prices this is special places for students i don't know if non-students can apply there but you can go inside and see what's there what is cool uh, those places are really uh, cheap and uh, they are located in very good places even right a very interesting story about them you can see the map and yes i would say that this website looks really promising and you can try to apply for rooms here the second best one is Kleinanzeige de Ye. True German stuff. Yes, this is the biggest German online marketplace. And it has a lot of offers of rooms from private persons. What are the pros of this place? Kleinanzeige de Ye had a lot of offers of rooms in shared apartments. Most of the ads are going from private persons and those people are very responsive i mean if you write them usually they respond you something private persons are actually much more flexible you can find really cheap room there klein and does not have a big competition because people from outside germany usually don't know about this place and i know people who found rooms using this service cons prepare for extensive usage of google translate most of people there may not speak english and you can find out more about who search for rooms in shared apartments in my video here and now let's quickly check kleinanzeige de year how we can do it so we are looking for vegas in outside und vegas so we will delete s here 
we choose VG, we have Munich and we will look for Munich and around 20 kilometers from the center of Munich. What is cool on Kleinanzeige that it immediately shows you how far this um, room is located from the center. But again, don't be very much confused about it because Munich has a very well-developed transportation system and it's not very hard uh, to use the S-Bahns or U-Bahns plus Munich is not very big. So you see there is um, offers here. The prices are different but They can be, you see, really cheap options. But you can should go inside and see what's written on uh, in description. You see, there is a map here, the price, and so on. Okay, again, Klein and Saige is the second, on my opinion, second most efficient way of looking for flats in Munich. And the best one, on my opinion, is Facebook. I mean VG groups on Facebook. Yes, internet in Germany lives in a time which is 10 years behind. And it means that now in a German internet it's only 2013. And it means Facebook rules. Why I actually put Facebook on the first place? I know people who were in very screwed situation, meaning that they had very tight budget or they needed to find the room fast or they had problems with documents or with visa and they managed to find the flat using Facebook. I mean, finding the room. And sometimes they did it unexpectedly fast. So we go to Facebook and I already entered some private groups to show you what's inside of them so you will need to enter them also but first how to search for them yeah you go to facebook search and you put vg munich here first of all when i see the results i go to groups and what i look for I see if the group is alive, how much members it has and how much posts per day each group has. I think that it needs to have at least one or two posts per day. Then I go inside the group. I will choose the group which I already, for example, entered. Let's check any of them. And I, what I want to see here, I want to see the comments. So yeah, you see some people are writing something in the PM of the room seekers. You see there is also uh, offers with the prices and you can connect with this person. But again, be aware of scam. In Facebook it's even much more probable. Don't send any money to anybody. So I think you got the idea about Facebook. This is actually everything that comes to my mind. Probably there are other more effective ways of searching for rooms and shared apartments in Munich. If you know them, please describe them in the comments. And if it's really worth it, I will make separate video about this way of searching. But again, I made this video based on my own experience. I mean, how I personally will act if I will need to find the room in Munich. Thank you for watching to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and press on this bell icon. See you guys.